This Week in IT. Microsoft is about to make one of the biggest changes to Teams in the app's history, making it work more like a rival Slack. Plus, there's a whole load of new features coming, making it easier to find and organize conversations. So stay tuned to find out more. Welcome to This Week in IT, the show where I talk about everything connected to Windows, Azure, and Microsoft 365. Today's episode is sponsored by our friends at Semperis. But before I get started today, I've got a quick favor to ask you. 82% of the people who watched last week's video weren't subscribed to the channel. Now, as we go live today, we're on about 9,790 subscribers, and I'd really love it if we could push that up to 9,800 this week. So if you'd like to see these kind of weekly updates from Petri.com, subscribe to the channel, and don't forget to hit the bell notification to make sure that you don't miss out on the latest uploads. You're probably aware that Teams isn't a unique idea. Slack first had this market cornered many years before Teams even existed. But Slack is something that was developed essentially by geeks for geeks. It didn't have the really simple UI and intuitive use that Microsoft is famous for building into its products. Then Teams came along and especially driven by the pandemic, usage of Teams really overtook Slack by a long way. And now it's the most used enterprise collaboration and messaging platform in the world. Slack seemed to recognize that it could be a little bit easier to use and earlier this year, it had a bit of a makeover, making it more Teams-like. But this week, Microsoft announced that they're also bringing a UI makeover to Teams and they're going to make it more Slack-like. So let's have a look at what Microsoft announced and what changes are coming. Now, while this might not seem like the biggest change that's come into Teams, it is by a long way the most important in my mind. Microsoft announced this week that it's bringing Teams channels and chats into a simplified combined view. So you won't have to do the context switching to switch over to Teams channels and then back again to chats and vice versa like you have to do at the moment. In the new simplified view that Microsoft is adding to Teams, users will be able to add custom sections so they can organize chats and channels however they like. And there'll be a new favorite section which basically consolidates all your pinned messages into a single place. With the custom sections, you'll be able to organize conversations into projects or topics. Just organize them in any way that really makes sense for you. Microsoft is also adding a new mentions view to Teams. So you'll be able to see all the places that you're mentioned in conversations across Teams, messages and chat in a single pane of glass. And you'll even be able to respond to any of those messages in the side pane. There are also new filters coming to chats and channels that will help you sort messages by criteria like unread messages, for instance. This isn't to replace what Copilot does by, you know, uh, looking for messages in chat and all of that. Of course, Copilot, if you have a subscription for that, will still exist. But you'll now have these new features which bring a way for people who don't have Copilot to sort through their messages more easily. Microsoft also announced that by mid 2025, they'll be bringing threaded conversations to Teams. And I'll talk a bit, a little bit more about that. But first, here's a message from our sponsor today, Semperis. Did you know that Active Directory is exploited in 9 out of 10 cyber attacks? Once cyber criminals control your Active Directory, it's game over. With access to AD, attackers can gain control of your entire network. And if AD goes down, business comes to a halt. And it's not just on-premises Active Directory that's under attack. Cyber criminals are targeting Azure Active Directory too. Attackers can gain entry in the cloud and move to on-premises identity systems or vice versa. To keep threat actors out, you need to find and fix Active Directory security gaps. Meet Purple Knight, your ally in defending against adversaries trying to breach your hybrid Active Directory environment. Purple Knight is a free Active Directory security assessment tool built by some Paris identity experts. 
With Purple Knight, you can spot Active Directory vulnerabilities before attackers do. Purple Knight scans your hybrid environment for hundreds of indicators of exposure or compromise in both on-premises Active Directory and Azure AD. Purple Knight gives you an overall security score and prioritized remediation guidance for fixing AD security vulnerabilities. Getting users to work with Teams channels has always been a, a little bit of a challenge. So Teams channels allow you to organize conversations uh, according to a particular project that you're working on in a team. And they're a great way to make sure that conversations stay on point, are organized and are easy to find in the future. The problem with the Teams interface has always been that to switch from chat to Teams channels, you need to context switch essentially because Teams was always a separate tab that you needed to click on, then all of your chats disappear and you can just see your Teams and channels. So you've got this constant switching backwards and forwards. And that for me never really made any sense. And it's one of the things that Slack really gets right. Now, I'm not a big fan of Slack really, but there are some things about it, of course, that do make sense. And Microsoft is finally making this change and that Teams tab is essentially going away and I think that's for the best. And I'm surprised that Microsoft didn't make this change when they updated the app and transferred it to a new uh, platform essentially. I think that was already more than a year ago now but well all I can say is better late than never with this. I think this is really going to change the adoption for Teams channels. You might say well why can't we just use chat? Well you can of course but the problem is trying to find information in those chats because at the moment many Many organizations are just using teams like WhatsApp essentially. You've just got all of these endless chats that you know it's really hard to find what it is you're looking for. Of course, things like search and filters and copilot help with that, but it's always better if you can just organize the conversations a little bit better in the first place. Because I think, as I've said many times on this channel, one of the things that we all spend so much time doing is just trying to find the information that we need to do our work. And there are certain things within Teams channels that you don't necessarily get within chat. So this will help organizations to really harness the power of Teams. And of course, the other changes, the filters, the custom views, the favorites and all the rest of it. I think these are all welcome changes and of course, a plus. I'm a little bit less sold on threaded conversations. I've never been a big fan of this in email. I think sometimes they can make it harder to really find what it is that you're looking for. And I guess that's not really the point of threaded conversations, yeah? And you know, this is something that's really coming from Slack, I guess, because it has threaded conversations. But the good thing about the way this is implemented in Slack, that it's not on by default, which is good for each conversation that you have, you get to choose whether you're going to make it threaded or not. So I hope that when Microsoft does get around to implementing this by the middle of next year in Teams, that users have the choice and that it's off by default. So when are these other changes coming to Teams? So Microsoft has said that the new chat and Teams experience is rolling out to the preview channel next month. So I expect that the rest of us on the general availability channel will get to see these changes probably by the end of this year or in early 2025. But to be honest, I can't wait. Let me know in the comments below what you think about how Microsoft Teams works or do you prefer Slack? I'd love to know what you think. If you found this video useful, I'd really appreciate it if you gave it a thumbs up because that helps get the video seen by more people on YouTube and to grow the channel. I'm going to leave another video on the screen for you now about the Lunar Lake CPUs and how they compare to Snapdragon X Elite. So that is really interesting. Go and check that out. And I'd also like to thank again our sponsors today, Semperis. But that's it from me and I'll see you next time.